Satanic oppression is real everywhere, in every nation of the earth. But more real is the victory won on the cross through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. By this you have access to the abundant life that brings deliverance from all satanic oppression, dominion, prosperity, and breakthrough. This is your moment of breakthrough, brought to you by Pastor Isaac and Dominion Life Christian Center, California. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Another great day on the moment of breakthrough uh, television broadcast. Uh, we are going to be looking into the word of the Lord. I am Pastor Isaac Shogun from Dominion Life Christian Center here in San Ramon. I am most excited that you have uh, tuned in to this broadcast because uh, I know you expect to have an encounter with the Lord and I know you believe God for your breakthroughs. And I can tell you ahead of time that this is your moment of breakthrough in Jesus' precious name. Your breakthrough is now in the precious name of Jesus. Now, breakthrough is when there is a sudden divine encounter when the Lord suddenly uh, intervene. And I, I believe God is going to intervene in your life and situation, no matter what it is. Now, in Jesus' precious name, we are going to be looking into the word of the Lord. And I've been teaching, I've been delving into uh, a little bit of spiritual warfare and how to fight spiritual battles as Christians uh, from the word of the Lord. Now, it is good uh, for us to know again that the battles we face in life, they have their roots in the realms of the spirit. Yes, uh, uh, things happen to us in the physical. Now, uh, let, let me do it this way. Let me, let me put it this way. Now, we all need a breakthrough because something isn't right or, or something has gone wrong. Now, without a problem, there will be no need to talk about breakthrough or without a, a challenge, without uh, a denial or a delay or things just not aligning right in our lives. So we talk about breakthrough. We need breakthrough because uh, something isn't right. Praise the Lord. And the only thing, anything may not be right is because we have an adversary, the devil. Satan is your enemy. And I, and I want us to know that Satan is your enemy. Everything not good is from him and everything good is from the Lord. Now, there is a place for responsibilities for you and I, and we're going to look into this. And as a matter of fact, uh, Christianity is accepting scriptural responsibilities for our lives. So because the lifestyle of faith is a, is a lifestyle that you do something, you act in what you believe. First of all, it's been, you are being responsible for you to know what to believe. So being a student of the Bible or being able to study the Bible or being able to listen to God's word or being able to go to church every week and uh, hear God's word and grow in faith, that is uh, being responsible as a matter of fact. So challenges of life are, are, are rooted in the realms of the spirit and that is according to what the Bible says. So there is nothing going on in this world that doesn't have its root in the realms of the spirit, either in the, in, in the positive or in the negative. Now, this is what the Bible says in uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and uh, uh, from verse 10. Now, we're looking into challenges. We're looking into problems. We're looking to, now, these problems can come in any form. It can come with an attack against your mind. It can come as a, an attack against your body, which is sickness or, or medical situations. It, it can come against your finances, maybe against your, against your career, against your job. Uh, you are not being able to tie down a job or you always having an opposition in your places of work. You've worked several places and they always have to let you go for one thing or the other. All these things have roots in hell. They have roots in hell. Now, this is what the Bible says. Finally, my brethren, 
Ephesians 6 from verse 10, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. So it says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wise or strategies of the devil. Now, Satan has strategies. He, Satan will always come as a friend. Satan will always come as somebody that's got your back. Satan will always come as somebody or uh, something working in your own interest. That's why the Bible says against his wise or against his strategy. Don't forget the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Now, the Lord created Adam and Eve and he put them in the garden. And Satan was not even in the picture. Now, he, he made provisions for them. He, he, he put them, he, he kept them in a good place. Now, Satan came to talk to Eve as a friend, as the one that, that loved them more than God did, as the one that was serving their interest. Now, I, I, uh, Satan came asking, as the Lord said, you should not eat of all the trees in this garden. Then, of course, dialogue began. At the end of it all, he said, no, that's not, God doesn't want you to be like him. So, Satan always comes as the one that makes you, the one that wants the better for your life. It's a lie of the devil. That is a strategy. Praise the Lord. But I don't want us to stop there. The Bible says in verse 12, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We do not wrestle. Our fight, our challenges are not against flesh and blood, but they are against principalities, against powers, against the ruler of the darkness of this age. So our challenges, your battles, the battles of your lives, they are not with flesh and blood. So the Bible is saying, yes, you, there is somebody that you know that, that is against your life. But the Bible is saying is more than that. So we'll be looking into waging war in the realms of the spirit or fighting spiritual battles or fighting spiritually. Now, we have to fight spiritually because the battles are rooted in the spirit. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to show you a scripture in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verses 3, 4, and 5. Now, the Bible says, For though we walk in the flesh, although we live in the flesh, we do not war, we do not fight according to to the flesh. So although we live in the flesh, but our battles or the battles against our lives, don't forget that's the reason why you cannot explain why and how many things are happening in your life because they are not in the natural. Sometimes you cannot understand why someone you've given so much to, you've done so much to, or somebody you care so much just begin to come against your life. Yes, our battles are rooted in hell. Praise the Lord. But we thank God because there is a way of escape. Now, the Bible is God's word. Now, the word of God, the Bible tells us, though, is the sword of the Spirit. Now, if we go back to the scripture we read earlier on, the one in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 reading. But by the time you get to verse 17, it says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. The helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. We're going to, in the weeks ahead, begin to deal with uh, the hammers of the Spirit. But now we're talking about the Word of God, which is the sword of the Spirit. So the Word of God is a, is a weapon for every Christian. So the Bible is not a book of stories. Yes, what I'm saying is that there are stories in there, but inside those stories are God's power. 
Insider stories are spiritual weapons. So it's not a book of story to just study and know this existed or this happened at, at a certain time. No, it is for you to, by the help of the Holy Ghost, and recognize what, the, what God is saying. That is the power behind the letters. Hallelujah. So the word of God, the Bible says, is the sword of of the spirit it is what we need to fight in, in spiritual conflict hallelujah so in in every situation or for every situation every challenging situation in this world there is a scriptural prescription there is a verse of the bible that is prescribed to solve every problem. So, responsibilities begins by you finding it. Now, there is a provision for anything and everything that is wrong in your life. Praise the Lord. That's why I said earlier on, I said uh, uh, the Christian life is uh, lived well by accepting scriptural responsibilities for our lives now you don't just complain and uh, just uh, whine and complain because of what the enemy is doing to you no what are you doing to stop the enemy satan is not going to stop because you are complaining satan is not going to stop because uh, uh, of how much, uh, how, how sorry, how much you feel sorry for yourself. No, uh, uh, he knows no mercy. Satan is not going to give up. He's not going to leave you alone simply because the situation is really bad and you think somehow, someday,